All right, so this is, a, I guess, a Raspberry Pi update. Uh, this is the green machine. And so you've heard me mention that I, I kept having problems with following errors every so often and couldn't, couldn't figure it out because it, it was, there was no real-time errors. There was just following errors. And the, um, the Mesa digital phase lock loop would lose it. And after talking to Peter, it was like, something's changing outside of Linux CNC knowing what's happening. Um, we thought maybe the, the processor frequency was scaling or something, but we, I couldn't catch that. Um, I finally started narrowing it down to the, the time sync with, um, with the um, internet time services. Um, so um, the the system D implementation doesn't seem to work very well. Um, it seems to just change the time with no sort of um, finesse, I guess I would say. Um, so it just does a step change in time, which really screws up Linux CNC. Um, I'm going to see if I can make it work, make it do it here. I'm surprised it hasn't. It's been doing it. So this is still running the system D, time sync D service. Um, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna run here. And I am going to, so it's running. And I have this, what ended up kind of pointing us in the direction is this right here is um, the Mesa card. I'm having it, uh, one of the step gens go two inches every every um, every two milliseconds. Um, so that so Linux CNC is reading that, and that gives me uh, an idea. If I see that change, I know that the the actual um, the actual servo thread is changing uh, without really Linux CNC knowing, because this this right here is servo time servo thread time. So I'm going to roll this and you can kind of see see it. You can see this is the distance every two milliseconds because I'm running a two millisecond space thread. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to trigger this so I can see it. And I'm going to do, I'm going to force it to do a time sync. And sometimes it doesn't always, like sometimes it sinks close enough that there isn't an issue. Um, and you'll probably hear it. This has been doing it all morning, me, me goofing around with it, or at least the last hour or so, because I, I had set up, um, well, okay, so that didn't do it. Wow, that takes a lot longer when Linux CNC is running. <laughs> Of course it doesn't do it. when I'm recording. I'm gonna roll this here so you can see. I mean, honestly, this thing was, um, 
triggering every few minutes. All right, I'm gonna do this again. Whoops. Um. We lose the internet here. Part of the issue I think we're seeing is that on uh, slower internets, like I wasn't having this happening at home at all, but here at the shop, the internet really is quite bad. Um, so it seemed like maybe part of the issue was is that the internet was part of the issue. Let me see here. I think, I think we lost internet, or this thing's acting really goofy. I don't seem to be able to go anywhere. Uh, see, so that is making that's a okay. I'm gonna have to probably do this again. All right, so I think that pretty much proves it. The actual internet was down, um, so it wasn't doing time sync, so it wasn't causing the air that we've been seeing. Um, so we'll just sit here for a second. I'm not even gonna, well here, let's run this program. And you just wait and listen. And I could force it actually. If I run a time sink, might take a couple tries. Well, that wasn't much. You see it here. I'm gonna let's just roll this so you can kind of see it. All right. Oh, I may or may not edit this. 
video. There it is. You can hear it. And then it recovers. And you can see the the um, the actual period is changing without Linux CNC really knowing, um, and that causes all kinds of of issues. Um, and if we just wait here a second, it should do it again. There it goes. And that doesn't work very good at all, does it? And this one's not going to recover. Oh, it recovered. Well, other than we've lost sync and all kinds of other fun stuff. I'm going to take this and stop it. And home it, see if it does it while it's homing. There it does it. So... I'm gonna stop this. So there you go. So, should we see if we can just fix this right off the bat here? I'm sorry about my camera work. I'm trying to. Mm -hmm. This doesn't. Can you see that? Here, let's just do it without the machine a few times to show there there it is isn't that crazy because it um, the time sync D service must just do a, a bang bang change of um, time which doesn't play well with uh, real time does it obviously um, so if I do a app sudo app get install NTP yes <laughs> it's gonna take a bit because we have really bad internet here it's almost done. And now we have NTP instead of um, instead of the time sync d service and now i betcha i won't have any problems if i home this and run this program now you saw well let's make sure we're still on the internet that would be the other test Go to the web store. Well, it looks good. Yeah. All right. And notice, you see how often that was happening here? We are now not having problems. So. I think this is the last issue with the Raspberry Pi that I was having. Um, it seems, other than that issue that I was having with the uh, following error, and finally figured out what the hell was going on with it. So um, I'm kind of excited. I, I'd have to say, yeah, I think uh, the Raspberry Pi would probably work pretty good. Um, 